tuning in. My name is Julie Schubach, and I'm the director of the Senior Resource Center at Family Service. CUI's TV is a collaboration between the Local Aging Network, Parkland College TV, Urbana Public TV, and the wider community to produce and air engaging local content designed specifically for older adults in Champaign County. CUI's TV is a project of the Senior Task Force, an interdisciplinary group of professionals and community members that meet monthly to discuss and take action on issues affecting older adults in Champaign County. Hi, I'm Kathy Rhodes from Circle of Friends Adult Day Center. And during this time of COVID-19, our center has been closed. We've been doing things like activity packets and phone calls, and then using technology such as Zoom to do our activities online. But we have found that the older population, including myself, are not that tech savvy. So we decided that perhaps using a venue that we're more comfortable with, such as a TV, would be a good option. So we decided to do a TV station just for senior activities. I hope you enjoy. Hi, I am Michelle Roberts. I am the program director for the Occupational Therapy Assistant Program at Parkland College. The goal of CUY's TV is to provide opportunities for local older adults to move their bodies, to exercise their brains, and offer entertainment and engage with the community from the comforts of their own home. Whether they are sheltering at home in the midst of a pandemic, or simply not getting out into the community as much as they used to. This is a wonderful opportunity to engage and participate in various programming. I hope you enjoy. Hi, I'm Liz Sullard from Synergy Home Care, and we are so excited to bring you content tailored specifically for you. We will have exciting entertainment, such as comedians, musicians, and a nostalgic cooking show. We will have exercises and stretches you can do right from home, and we will also have senior-specific education health tips and more. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Laura Rice, the Senior Outreach Coordinator at the Champaign Public Library. We hope that CUY's TV will be an ongoing community resource that you can tune into each week. CUY's TV is available Tuesdays at 11 a.m. on Parkland College Television or Thursdays at 1 p.m. on Urbana Public Television. Both are available to stream after the program airs on YouTube.com. If you have any questions or suggestions for content you'd like to see on TV, please email us at cuystv at gmail.com. That's the letter C-U-W-I-S-E-T-V at gmail.com. And welcome to our CUI segment. We are Emily, Monasia, and Santi from the Parkland College Occupational Therapy Assistant Program. We'll be talking about identifying breathing distress and ways to prevent it, as well as fall risk management and tips on how to prevent it. What is breathing distress? Breathing distress is becoming short of breath, making it hard to breathe. Everyone has felt breathing distress at some point in their life, so we will be talking about ways to identify breathing distress and ways to prevent it in the future. The second half, we will be talking about fall risk management, knowing the signs, and ways to prevent a fall. These activities are just suggestions for encouraging and increasing mobility and relaxation. Please be aware of your physical limitations and check with your health care provider to see if these activities are right for you. Thank you. The first cause of breathing distress is doing more than your physical capabilities. For example, trying to carry in all the groceries in your home by yourself. Ways to keep yourself from going past your limits includes knowing your limits and using tips to save your energy. For this example, you can ask for help from a friend or family member instead of doing it all by yourself. It is key to conserve your energy when you can. So instead of doing the grocery shopping yourself, use online grocery shopping and have the groceries delivered to your home. Another cause of breathing distress is infection or illness. If any of your symptoms seem to have gotten worse, for example, 
you may have more mucus than normal, pain in the chest, or experience more than normal shortness of breath or fever, please report your symptoms to your doctor. The weather change can also cause breathing distress. Winter is coming, so it is important to cover your nose and mouth with a scarf to help warm the air before it reaches your lungs. Due to the pandemic, wearing a mask can also help you warm the air you breathe. Stressful events in life can also affect your breathing and may lead to breathing distress. We know some stressful events are hard to avoid, but when you can, try and stay away from things that may cause you stress. Keeping a conscious effort to focus on breathing when you know you are stressed can help prevent the feeling of not being able to breathe. One last cause of breathing distress that we will talk about today is shallow breathing. This is when your breathing is short and quick and you do not get a deep breath in. Try and get as much air into your lungs as you can. Use the pursed lips breathing technique to help. We will demonstrate how this works. Purse lip breathing is when you put your lips in an oval shape and focus on taking deep breaths in and out. Breathe in through your nose for two seconds and out through your pursed lips for four seconds. These are different causes of breathing distress and ways to prevent it. If you experience breathing distress, stay calm, sit down, and try some of the breathing techniques introduced and try to avoid situations that might cause you to have breathing distress. Now we will talk about fall risk management and prevention. About 36 million older adults fall each year. One out of every five falls causes an injury such as broken bones or head injuries. More than 95% of hip fractures are caused by falling. This is why it is important to have a conversation about falls. We have identified three major areas that you can look at in your own life. Make your home safe by getting rid of tripping hazards such as rugs or cords, installing grab bars in bathrooms, keeping areas well lit, and using non-slip mats in the tub or shower. Get your eyes checked once a year and replace glasses as needed. The final area is to try and keep moving. Stay active to improve balance and strengthen your legs or check with your provider for the best type of exercise. Santi, can you help me really quick? Yeah, I'm on my way. Pause. What could we have done to avoid this fall? These cords are a tripping hazard. Move them out of the way. Now let's try again. Zonky, can you come help me really quick? Yeah. Spock! Pause. What could have been done to avoid this fall? We can place a bell on our dog so that we know where they are at all times. Now let's try again. Oh, hi Spot. I didn't see you, but I heard you. Oh shoot, I didn't realize what time it is. I'm gonna be late for work. Pause. What could have been done to prevent this fall? This rug either needs non-slip guard on the bottom or should be removed altogether. Shoot, I didn't realize what time it is. I'm going to be late for work. Hey, Emily, I wanted to show you this really funny chapter in my book. I'm going to go get it. Pause. What could have been done to avoid this fall? It would have been a good idea to have better lighting in the room to prevent falls. Hey Emily, I wanted to show you this really funny chapter in my book. Let me go get it. This information was brought to you by the Parkland College Occupational Therapy Assistant Program. We hope you got some good tips and can apply them to your everyday life. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed the show. This video can be accessed anytime on youtube.com. Type in Parkland College TV in the YouTube search bar and subscribe. 
We hope you will join us again next week for more local engaging content designed specifically for Champaign County older adults. Take care and stay safe.